a tremendous effort by the by the players, by the coaches, the caliber of game and what it meant for these young men, for alumni, for just for everybody. A very competitive, good football team that Coach Usman has. But to come on the road and win, you know, the stuff that we've collectively we've, we've been through and then the stuff that we've collectively grown through puts us in an opportunity that we get to. We get to represent the CAA. We get to have a bye uh, for our first round. We get to play this game. We, we, we get to continue to keep playing the game in the relationships with these guys, these players. It continues to keep going on and on and on. That's why you do this. It's more about taking, taking it one play at a time and keeping yourself composed and just knowing that on third down when the team needs you, you step up and make the play. That's what everybody's thinking about. When the team needs us, you step up and make the play, and we're able to get that done. It feels great because you come here to, to accomplish things like this. Like You come here to make, set records. You come here to do great things. You come here to make the playoffs. So it's just one, one, thing, one thing accomplished, and we're uh, looking forward to the playoffs and accomplishing more. I mean, Coach mentioned it. My, my first year here, so before Coach was even here, we won two games. Um, so we flipped that record on Ted and then some. Um, I told my, my mom, actually, after the game, when we went up 30 to whatever it was on that Trayshawn Kendrick touchdown, I, like, lost a tear or two. And I was like, wow, like, we got the momentum. We're doing it. And then, you know, like like a football game with Richmond is going to be all to the end. Um, so it was, it was unbelievable to see our guys run across the field and grab the grab the cup. And I don't even think I looked at the CAA trophy. The, the cup was, you know, kind of getting passed around. So it was, it was really cool. That's because he had it. He was a runner. <laughs> We knew they were going to throw it a ton this year. They threw it 50 times. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Getting the ball out really quick. So, you know, obviously we, we had our chances to get after him, but a lot of it was about getting our hands on the throwing lanes and covering the, the shorts and the quicks. Um, and that was the focus throughout the week. We kind of knew who they were offensively. Um, and, you know, I think they got one or two long ones on, like, uh, somebody jumped off sides, just kind of a broken play. But, you know, keeping the ball in front and inside is what Coach Brown always preaches. Um, so... You know, it was a full defensive effort for sure. When you have, uh, you know, senior leadership, you have guys that uh, have played in tough games, um, captains. You know, you're. This is an emotional game. It's you know, it gets heated out there, and those things are said, and the ability to just concentrate on on separating the significant from the insignificant, not to do dumb things that you get penalties and to continue drives. Now, that happened to us maybe a couple times, um, but at the same time. Um, there are moments that if you just keep your composure, that that um, you know the clock continues to run, and, and you don't do things that are that'll stop your impede your your progress to hang on to the ball or um, you know the defense what they're doing, and so the emotions tie in with everything. Sunday is the, our seniors are having a, a kind of a breakfast to acknowledge them and thank them. Then they'll roll into the 12:30 selection uh, uh, process. And then that'll roll into me meeting with the staff, and then it'll roll into practice because we're still going to do now what we normally do on a Sunday, and then rolls into the CAA's four o'clock call for, you know, for all-star ballots and things like that. So things will be going on that will, will fill the day. But but you're right, this moment right now with these guys, coaches, is special. I mean, it, it really is.